There we go. Oop. Yeah, we got it. Oh, if you could see it. See it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the cotton. Oh, you son of a, oh, you dirty. So that's just plain old cotton, man. Ah, damn. Get the main idea. Take a look at it. See it right here? That burned right up real nice and easy. So that's the first batch. All right, let's try the second batch. Hey, people. Um, and I'm, out here, I'm in, in behind the house, and uh, what I'm going to do is I made two different batches of char cloth in my tea tin. And, it, you know, the flame comes out of here a little bit, but I do have a, a little hole in there. And I roll up the <coughs> jeans a little tighter than that when I, when I put it in. But I roll up the jeans as four rolls, kind of like this. And I make the char cloth in my wood stove. And um, so I made two batches, so I'm testing that right now. And I'm just using cotton with no uh, petrolatum on it or anything like that. And not really gonna build a fire. Um, I may go into this thing for outsider tank. That's something about this, hard to get here. But uh, fire dragon fire starters in this stove. That's part two. But uh, my main thing is to test this char cloth, see how it works. So I got my bag here ready to go, hopefully. Let me see it here. Um, and um, I'll open this up. Let's turn this down a little bit. So basically, this is my little I would call trekking bag. I won't be doing too much trekking, at least not like before, because it's getting a little tough. Don't get out of breath, but the nice little fire kit my friend made, so. Open this up. There we go. Got a nice little old-time buffalo on there. See that? But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna a little tight this bag here, but it has everything I need in there. But I'm basically looking for the flint. I got a little striker here. I have several strikers, different kinds. I got my flint here somewhere. Okay, feels sharp. So I'm gonna, you know, we'll see how we do from here. But basically, um, I wanna try the two batches of um, char cloth. There we go, Ooh. yeah, we got it. If you could see it, see it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the cotton. Oh, you son of a, oh, you dirty. So that's just plain old cotton, man. Ah, damn. Get the main idea. Take a look at it. See it right here. That burned right up real nice and easy. So that's the first batch. All right, let's try the second batch. Try the second batch now. That was the first batch. Got it separated by some tissue, just in case one didn't work out. On to. Oh, and when I, I did this in this tin, I used um, 
Mr. West there in Canada, uh, he said you put the pump wood on the bottom and it, it makes a better charcoal. And I believe it does. We'll, we'll Mark Young. Yeah. Uh, charcoal, or this uh, punk wood too, but uh, it's a byproduct. Let's see. Yeah, so let's try. I don't want any errant sparks to get this going. So now we're going to try. <clears throat> piece from the second batch and this is the main it's our mission here test this stuff out but uh, let's keep this away and you saw that I was just there's no white petrolatum or Vaseline whatever you want to call it um, petroleum jelly there was nothing on that cotton. there was just plain old cotton so if you have your medicine or, or leftover uh, stuff just um, use it it's actually a bigger piece than I really need, but uh, <clears throat> I have different strikers. This is a little different than the ones I have. Uh, I have some from Vern's, which is pretty good. And she's sparking. Almost. Mm. There we go. Working pretty. Oh, you son of a gun. Broke it a little bit, but it, you know, it's still pretty intact. Let's get it in here. Look at that. It's burning already. See that? Nice, man. Look at that. Oh, you son of a gun. Charcoal works. Uh, if you make charcoal, uh, always um, test it out beforehand. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this out. See if I can get this punk wood going. It's kind of a byproduct of the operation. I'm just going to put it in this, uh, move the camera down. Okay, I'm going to put it right down here. Ew. There it goes, it's going, that's perfect, man. So as soon as you get a good spark on, I don't know if you can see the spark, but uh, very good spark going here. So the punk wood, the byproduct is uh, very good. So just let you know, and this sharpens, and also it's a good, good striker too, so, so. Looks pretty good. Gotta be careful, I'll get my own, my char going here. But uh, yeah, so my kid here has some uh, tow from flax. A little bit of fat, little pieces of fat wood. And here's char cloth. I got the flint, nice piece of flint, just saw it works. Um, just a regular way, put, I put it on top of the flint and go, or you could do it into a uh, box if you want. But uh, yeah, it works pretty good. So, nice little case my friend made. So, I have a lot of fat wood uh, cut down for whatever. But this was ready to go in my kit. And I'm just gonna wrap this around a little bit. We're good. Let's get on uh, something else now. <laughs>